moving forward, you guys succeeded in you know helping or propel the president to the highest office in the land. Yes, and is now the sitting president. Yes. Uh, ever since Dr. President William Ruto took office uh, in September last year, we do yes. know that uh, the elections were disputed, and Mr. Raila Odinga, the opposition leader, went to court. The court upheld the election of Dr. William Ruto. Yes. Uh, from then to today, there have been. It's safe to say that Raila Odinga still insists that you know his election was stolen, and uh, he he and his troops, some of them do not recognize, they say they will not recognize Dr. William Ruto as the head of state. Yes. Uh, what, is the, what is the position as, you know, the lobby groups within the, uh, the, 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 the country or across the country, within the party, uh, what do you guys have to say regarding to this? Because if you look at uh, Raila Odinga, and right now, even we, we are in the bulletin this morning, talking, yes. Raila Odinga has been talking about going back to the streets. Mm. As lobby groups, we yes. do know that the government has, you know, put measures in place, regardless of how they are. Do you believe in, you know, Raila Odinga being genuine in his uh, concerns? He says he's concerned about Kenyans and the tough economic times and what Kenyans are going through. He has said the government, and especially, specifically, President Dr. William Ruto, has failed. What do you, th what do you think about this? Uh, <clears throat> from where I sit, Raila Odinga is uh, the master of deceit. He's not a democrat of any shade. Raila Odinga has participated in every election and that is a democracy according to our, our constitution. I want to ask you, why should you participate in a democratic process and dispute the results all the time. Raila Odinga knows that after election, he with the former president, Honor East Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, left this country in a deep hole economically. There was no money in, at the treasury. The, the, the debt ceiling was high. So now, the, 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 His Excellency Dr. William Ruto inherited a government, a country that was had no money at all with a lot of debts to pay. So now the president is trying to, to, to bring this country so that at least he has a balance so, th so that he can start now implementing him, his manifesto. There is nowhere in the world where a president or a government can implement its manifesto within months. It must, they must give the president time to implement his manifesto. Implementation of manifesto takes like five to ten, to ten to ten years. We in the lobby groups, we are prepared. We have just taken a commercial break. But we are prepared and we are preparing ourselves to also campaign to his excellency, Dr. Dr. William Ruto, for his second term so that he can implement the manifesto the, of the Kenya Kwanza manifesto fully within ten years so that he can change this country to what he, he desired it to be to be an economic giant. Now, uh, Mr. Douglas, yes. you talked about it being 